Welcome back to Sports Talk ATL. I am Chase Earl, joined by Jake Gordon and Alex Ward. The Eastern Conference Finals and Western Conference Finals are set. Let's start on the Eastern side. We got two teams that the Hawks played. They went three and four against these two teams. So as down as we were about the Hawks, you got to feel good that they really competed, won two games on the road against the Heat and the Celtics, who will match up. Who do you like in that series? Obviously, Boston's the more talented team, but They've met a lot in the playoffs. They've always been, always been good battles, and you can't you can't count Eric Spolster out. Yeah, I uh, I think that's the key for the Heat. Number one, you got to Jimmy Jimmy Butler's got to be Jimmy Butler. We've seen him do it. I mean, I think I think if, if we're talking players in the NBA right now, you say you get one guy for these playoffs. I think Jimmy Butler might be in my top five. He might be in my top three. I mean, he is incredible. Uh, just when the lights turn on, Jimmy Butler's that guy. Uh, and I think they just got to keep it close because if it's close. It's going to turn into Joe Missoula versus Eric Spolster, and I think Eric Spolster can coach circles around him. Yeah. Um, that's that's a fact. Uh, but I think it's going to be a close series. I think Boston – I hope it doesn't turn into one of those series where it's close in terms of, like, you know, Boston wins in six or seven, but every game's a 20-point blowout. We saw a lot of that last year. Um, but I think that he keep it close. Closer than the experts think, as Lee Corso likes to say. But I'm going to go Boston in six, Boston in seven. I mean, there's no doubt that the Celtics are the far superior roster. Uh, they were the far superior roster against the 76ers, and it went all the way to a game seven. So, you know, who really knows? And I love the Heat. I just love their ethos. You know, Jimmy Butler's a dog. Uh, Eric Spolstra. A lot of these guys don't get the credit they probably deserve, uh, but they come out and compete. I Kyle love Lowry's got that booty. I cannot stand Kyle Lowry, but somehow he turns <laughs> I hate Kyle into, Lowry too. he he turns the clock back in the playoffs. I yeah. mean, I don't understand it. Um, you you got to give credit to these guys who do stand up. Like I, I don't love Kyle Lowry, and his stats aren't going to jump off the page. But listen, like he stand, he's been a guy in these playoffs uh, for the Heat. He plays winning play. basketball. They all do. I mean, they all do. They, I mean, listen, they play defense and they shoot the ball well. It's really like it's that simple. And, and and Jimmy Butler, and they have a guy that they can turn to at any moment to stop those runs like we talked about in the last segment. I mean, he is a run stopper. He, and then he starts runs on his own. He brings energy. He brings attitude. It almost seems like when you have him on your team, you've got a chance. And, and that's what I say so much about these NBA playoffs. Like, And that's what I love about Trey Young. Like, I knew the Hawks didn't have much of a chance to, to play with the Celtics as far as roster for roster. But I said, hey, we got Trey Young. And you saw in that game five, like he just won us the game. He willed us the game in the second second half, particularly the fourth quarter. And when you got a guy like that, which Jimmy Butler has certainly proven to be a guy, you got a chance to win games. And if you win one on the road, anything can happen because you got a big advantage at home, especially in Miami. Now, with that Eric being Spolstra. said, with that being said, you know, the Celtics are a far superior team. And on paper, they should dominate. They should, you know, but as we've seen, they were far superior to the Sixers. Just like I said, they took them to a game seven. So who knows what's going to show up? Uh, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, all eyes are going to be on you. Uh, Jimmy Butler's going to show up. I don't even think that's a question. I mean, the guy's just, he's a bona fide superstar. And Jake, you said uh, top five. No, I mean, he's top three. There's Jokic, uh, Tatum, maybe AD, but AD so shaky nowadays with inter- inter- injuries that I'm taking Jimmy Buckets. I mean, the guy is unbelievable. Yeah. I think if you I get mean, one or two, I, I would go like Devin. Two, I might put Devin Booker up there. If you get two Jimmy Butler, I'm not putting any Phoenix Suns on there. If you get two <laughs> Jimmy Butler games, two Jimmy Butler games, and you can keep the rest close and let Eric Spolstra, you know, just outmaneuver Joe Missoula, I think you have a chance. And I think that yeah. is going to happen. I think that's I think a great Boston. point. Missoula even got out coached by Doc Rivers in some instances. I mean, the guy yeah, is starters really, in with four minutes left. Last this night. guy's that got this. Insane. This guy's, think driving, if, this guy's driving a Ferrari with a learner's permit. Yeah, this yeah, guy I, is so underqualified. I if think this was Ime Adoka, I think I, I would probably feel a little different. I, I think a problem, though, is I do think Boston at home is just going to be such a bear for my – I think it's going to be – I think a lot of those games are going to be very uncompetitive in Boston. I, uh, that, that's just my feeling. And, man, listen, well, speaking, listen, you only need one, though. Series don't start until somebody love, leaves, loses at home. Speaking of speaking of at home, I love the Nuggets tonight at home. I think I think the Lakers just put a lot into that series against the Warriors. I think that took a lot out of them. Denver's a tough place to play. You know, players talk about the elevation sometimes. I know it's cliche, but I think Denver's going to have a big showing tonight. I think they I think they could win Game One pretty handily. Uh, but this is going to be a close one too. I mean, uh, we're talking about LeBron James and Anthony Davis, and those guys when they get the closer they get, they get better. I yeah. think that's I think that's something that we have seen. This I is think- the antithesis of the 76ers. Everyone's going to talk about the Lakers. They beat the Warriors. Great job. I'm really happy to see LeBron back in this situation. again. I didn't know if we were going to see it again with the Lakers. Um, 
But I, I, I'm just going to go out on a limb and I say, I think the Nuggets win this series. I just think they're a better team. I think they have a great home court advantage. I think they're a better team. I think Jokic is going to be impossible to guard. I'm worried about AD staying healthy for seven games because I think it's going to go six or seven games. Uh, and I just think the Nuggets supporting cast. I think the best player on the floor is Jokic. And I think he's going to show it um, in this series. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible, but I really like the Nuggets in this one. I think it's their turn to get over the top. Uh, but they do have LeBron James and that beast and, and everything he brings to the table from a winning perspective uh, to get over. The Nuggets have it all, too. And, and credit to Mike Malone. I feel like Mike Malone does not get talked about enough. He's a great coach. He's a great motivator. You hear him in the huddles. You know, he's in there. He's firing those guys up. He's keeping them on task. Uh, and, you know, if they get a good effort from Jamal Murray, they get good effort from Michael Porter Jr., uh, you know, Bruce Brown, a couple of those other contributors that we talked about. I think the Nuggets have a great shot. Um, and it, I could see it being this year. You know, you look at it, you know, there's not really a clear-cut favorite. Uh, but I like the Nuggets, like, too. It feels kind of like the Bucs. It, like I, I, I love their like Alex said about the Heat. I love their ethos. They have they have a really interesting build. Uh, you don't see the center being the best player on a team that goes very far much anymore. And uh, I, I, I love to see Jokic out there. I was just about to say, how about a little throwback? Two best players in the series are the or two team centers. I mean, this is a throwback. I love it. Those big guys are going to bang. Anthony Davis is the, arguably, when healthy, the greatest uh, defender in NBA right now. Um, but it's Jokic is going to get his. What is AD going to do on the offensive end? That's what I think yeah. is going to decide. It's going to be yeah. on AD. I mean, LeBron is taking the backseat. AD, you are the best player on your team. What are you going to do? Well, Jokic didn't exactly six. prime Tim Duncan on defense. Yeah. So. G- game six, LeBron took over. I think he's still capable of taking over whenever he wants to. But coming up after the break, we're going to talk the Braves losing four games in a row and what the biggest concerns are moving forward with this team. <laughs> 